Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 36. Yay. Yay. <laughs> anyway, today's designs, uh, we're actually going to start off with the Triple X9 Mark II by Speedy Pie from Norway. Yes, you need to specify he is from Norway. I have tested this design. I have one word. Alien. Yes. This is some sort of alien craft. It is crazy. Alright, well, when I first tested it, I was sort of struggling. I completely forgot what the action grips were. <laughs> and the way this thing moves is very, very, very strange. And I would have one complaint regarding the design, but I'll leave that for later. So, let us do number one. Full throttle, which will activate the VTOL engines, I think. There are VTOL engines here. And I think also... I think we might have to press number two to change the mode. All right, there we go. So now we've lifted off. Have a look at the the design. It looks pretty complex because of how compact it is. But look how many moving parts there are. There's so many moving parts. <laughs> number three activates the back engines here. Okay, they're, they're slowly, slowly turning on. Wait, what? Okay, I've got to change the mode, I guess. Nope. Nope. Number four? Oh, there we go. Number four. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Oh, now we're moving. Okay, now we can turn off those V2 engines. There's number one there. Yay, we're moving. Yeah, it looks like a very interesting interesting design, I would say. Um, yeah, again, so many moving parts. Look at this. All these parts. They're all moving. It's kind of freaky. I, I, I haven't seen this many moving parts. Look at that. But I think it's well designed. Uh, Speedy Pie, he says in the description that I probably wouldn't like the Mark II version. Where did he say that again? He did say it somewhere. Uh, Mark II belly work and you would hate it. Yeah, that's what he wrote. <laughs> Alright. But here is, here is this weird thing. So, the wheels back here, you uh, you can decouple them. And that causes a bit of an issue. Yes, because we don't really have a proper landing now. Like, there's no real landing gears anymore. So, landing is going to be difficult. And we're going to have to do it perfectly. So... I'm going to try to land on the VAB, but given our past experiences with landing on the VAB, it's probably not going to turn out very well. And what I'm referring to is the last time we landed on the VAB, the whole VAB gave way because, well, it is weak. <laughs> it can't handle a simple landing. Okay, here we go, here we go. So I guess we'll throw it down slightly, yeah? Um, our momentum is very, well, fast for a current task here, which is land on top of the VAB. So, let's do something like this. Try and stall it. All right, I call that a success. Now move forward. All right, and also, um, I should mention this at the beginning of the video, it's a bit of a windy, windy storm going out. <laughs> windy storm. <laughs> I had to say that, didn't I? I could have just said storm. Yeah, because, you know, wind is associated with the storm. But anyway. Alright, now. Go down. Oh, this might be a good landing. It might be a good landing, but I do think something will break. Okay, we'll have to throttle up here. Have to throttle up. Well, these engines. These engines are freaking... All these moving parts are just so very alien. Come on. This isn't normal. Uh, uh, yep. Throttle up, throttle up, throttle up. Engine's off. Hey, that was a good landing. 10 out of 10. Very well. Now let's turn, up, turn on the lights here. Perfect. All right, moving on. <laughs> so uh, this was the Mark II version of the design. There is the Mark III version. I haven't actually seen the Mark III version. I imagine it is slightly different, obviously. So there's actually less parts. Yeah, less parts in the Mark III version. 154 parts. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's been 
refined. The previous version has a lot of parts that are just protruding out for no reason. Uh, but this, yeah, I do like the, the design technique here with the air intakes. It really does look better. And what is he used here? What are these? Oh, there's so much uh, Thermutic generators. If that's what they're still called. <laughs> the devs keep on changing the names for everything. Uh, yeah, this is actually pretty cool looking. I like it. There's a lot less moving parts <laughs> than the previous design, which is over there. Uh, we try the parachutes. Let's see what the parachutes do. Judging by the placement, this will work. What is that? Parachutes up here as well. Okay, so this is like... Hmm. I don't know if parachutes are really useful on a VTOL design, because keeping in mind, it is a VTOL. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright. In three, two, one... And one and okay, there we go. What? Oh, damn it! <laughs> that was delayed. Oh, the parachutes might break. Please don't break. All right, now rotate. Perfect. <laughs> this is bad. This is very bad. Uh, yeah, let's deploy it. Oh, oh no! What happened? What happened? Oh, oh no! 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 Oh, no, brakes, 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 brakes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to fall off here. All right, well, we've made it. Another success. And we have another crappy Kerbal name along with us. Fantastic. Actually, we'll just probably leave that there. <laughs> we will land everything on top of the VAB today. <laughs> it's a random objective. It's going to be a mess. The next design is by Dan McShop. And this is Bomber Whale version Two. As the name suggests, it is a bomber, but it is also a whale. <laughs> so it has ridiculous maneuverability, meaning it is just very bad for turning, but it is a bomber. Okay, and because it's a bomber, you forgive, I forgive everything, every flaw for this design. We shall test it on an aircraft carrier. <laughs> this is actually going to be fun. A bit laggy too, but fun. So, if I press number one, uh, automatically these wheels back here will retract and then we'll be utilizing the smaller wheels to help us lift off earlier that's a very smart tactic there I'll admit and we have two couples on board this thing is quite heavy and I'll show you where the bombs are oh, it's inside the cargo bay yay I'll show you that soon but anyway what are these for this is all for looks isn't it not the intakes the other stuff the that docking stuff I think I think that's what it's called Oh, no, 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 that is, yeah, I see what they are. Those are from the, uh, the cargo bay on the inside, but the parts, or the cargo is connected to the top here. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes sense. They were taking so smart. Oh, thank you guys. Yeah, I just figured it out. <laughs> okay, lift off without breaking engines. Fantastic. Retract wheels. Oh, lag spike. Perfect. And then, this is quite funny. It, it looks like it has no wheels, except for those back there. <laughs> Look how small they are. It actually looks pretty cool. Alright, let's open up the cargo bay. Oh no. I really don't want to crash into the ground. So we are going almost straight at it. We might need to turn. Throw down. Alright, and from keys... From zero, no, three to zero, we'll deploy the bombs. We're coming up onto target. We need to rotate slightly. Far out. Stop wobbling. No. Okay, we know whatever. Damn you. Hit the target. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, we got it. Woohoo. That, that's a success. I mean, that was pretty good. I feel bad for the person who made that design. <clears throat> I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> it wasn't me who broke it. Well, this is magically lighter now. What do you know? <laughs> I can control it much better now. Fantastic. So, yeah, that was nice. I'm actually, that was really cool. Success. We can do it. <laughs> All right. I think we can move on to the next design. We get the point of this one. 
The next design is Dash X, and that is also by Dan McSharp. So you see this one is based on the real life Dash 8, Dash 8 design, really. Okay, but there's where resemblance ends. Okay, yada yada, make sure that your staging is control group 2 and 3 to start engine. 2 and 3, really? Control 1 is for flaps, which is for flying slow. Yada yada, as you should when dropping bombs. Yes, bombs, like, bombs, ooh. Uh, with control 7 cargo bay, 8, 9, and 0 for bombs. Okay, got it. And that, I just need to know about the bombs. <laughs> uh, number 7. Number 8. Wait, number 8 was for the bombs, right? Okay, we just dropped some bombs. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Bombs were there. Bombs were there. Okay, well, there's not many bombs in this one. I prefer the other design. Where are all the bombs? <laughs> Alright, well, we'll have to see if we can deploy a bomb. Uh, launch. Oh, something broke. Where's that going? Oh, that's pretty close. I'm happy. <laughs> but there's no more bombs. Wait, zero? Oh, there's a bomb. There you go. Not as many bombs. This is not as impressive. I want more bombs. <laughs> no, that's alright. We get the point. These bombs aren't as strong. Anyway, I think we're going to move on to the next design. We get the point of this. There's not the bomb bombs. <laughs> alright. The final design for this episode is Musky. Also by... Dan McShop, I haven't checked this out, but, oh yeah, 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 this is somewhat of a land vehicle, land-based vehicle, I see, I reckon it would probably lift off, yeah, it probably would. Instructions, this one was inspired by the muscle car concept that pretty much goes like this, if the engine's big enough, you're set, indeed, yada, 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 got it, got it, got it, okay, I like the use of action groups, makes it seem more complex, okay. Uh, number two, number three. Alright, we'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> Too many action groups to read. Number six. Oh, don't do that. Oh, okay, that's fine. Retracting that wheel there. Number seven. Number eight. Okay, that's it for the keys. <laughs> this actually looks kind of cool. Given the color. Yeah, it does kind of look cool there. Oh, oh. Well, that's about it for this, I think. <laughs> I don't think it was really meant to do anything else. I mean, we'll lift off. So it's a design that doesn't really need wings, but it does have a few wings in the front there, so... Bit of an, bit of an exception there. But it does look cool. And it is... Well, not the most controllable design, but I suppose it's just there for looks. Which is good enough, because... We're going to see if we can smash into something now. Yes! Turn left a bit. No! No! The shockwave will destroy it, please. Destroy it. Destroy it. Damn, no shockwave. That is disappointing. <laughs> I think we'll call it here for this episode. Uh, I'd like to thank the two subscribers that have submitted their designs. Those are Speedy Pie and Dan McSharp. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for submitting. And see you next time. Take care.